So this is me talking to the back camera without the mic. Now I'm talking with the mic on, with the windbreaker attached. This is the Rode VideoMic Mi L. The L in this mic name stands for lightning. It is the Rode version of the microphone that you can use with your iPhone. I have been using this mic for the past month and I wanted to make a review where I share my thoughts and what are the things that I like and not like about this mic. The first thing, what do I like about this microphone? It has a very small footprint which means that you can carry it anywhere that you want to go to. You don't need to carry any bulky microphones. This would do the job quite well. It has a very good quality that I'm extremely satisfied with for YouTube videos or any other voiceovers that you need to because I've been doing voiceovers with this as well. But now coming to the cons, I think one of the biggest problems with this microphone is this uh, clip that we have here. because. This clip is used to hold this microphone in place when you attach it to your phone here. When I first had this microphone, I made the mistake that I wouldn't attach this, this clip here because it would make quite difficult to attach it if you have a case. But then I ran into some trouble and this microphone stopped working and I had to claim warranty. My suspicion was that this port here got loosened and the connections broke. So my advice is that always make sure that you have this clip on. It's, it's a little bit uncomfortable if you have a case. So I recommend you fidget with it a little bit and try to find the best possible position. From the second thing that I don't really like is that it seems a little bit too expensive. I bought it for about 70 euros and you can buy another mic for your DSLR for around the same amount. So considering it's only for iPhones with a lightning port, it seems a little bit too pricey to me. The third thing, why is this mic a good fit for you or not? Now, if you are someone who likes to use their phone a lot for creating content for recording and especially an iPhone that, well, this is made for an iPhone, but if you're doing that, then I highly recommend you do this. You, you buy this because <clears throat> just having this small uh, microphone <clears throat> would mean that your voice quality would improve drastically. Needless to say, it also comes with a windbreaker shield, which you can also use and it also improves the quality while you're outside running biking or the wind is blowing quite hard <clears throat> and finally one thing that I, about this microphone is that you can only you don't necessarily know when this microphone is attached to your phone because the iphone does not give you any special indication um, although there is a reporter app by Rode uh, which actually detects this microphone and then you know that it is attached. Otherwise, the micro, the, the native camera app for iPhone does not uh, really give an indication whether it is attached or not, which makes it kind of hard because you then have to record it and then play it back to see if the microphone was working. This is something that I struggled with quite a lot when my old microphone broke, but I'm happy that I was, that I got a replacement. So all in all, I would say I'm satisfied with it although it's not as quite sturdy as any other um, microphone would be with the traditional um, audio 
port but uh, so far it does its job and it does it quite well i hope you enjoyed this and if you want me to cover any other things or any other um, questions that you might have please feel free to let me know in any way possible thank you so much and i'll see you next time So right now I am biking, the wind is blowing and I'm not using my mic. Let's see how this goes. Now I'm in the same conditions, wind is blowing, I'm biking and I am using the microphone attached to my, to my cell phone. Let's see how well it is working.